guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing another Top 5 Tuesdays today, and today we are talking about brow products. So if you're new to my channel, this is a series I do in collaboration with the Glam Dr. Mona Khan. We pick a category and, at, well, almost, I almost said every, almost every Tuesday we do our top five in that category. So if you are interested in seeing what my top five favorite brow products are, then just keep on watching. This first product is going to be absolutely no surprise to you. This is the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. I have been talking about this incessantly uh, ever since I bought it last year sometime. It is my go-to brow product. And if you're into doing your brows, but you don't have five minutes to do them, you just want to spend about 30 seconds on them, this is your answer, basically. So it comes in a tube like this, and it has a smallish type of spoolie bristle brush. So it's a little bit bigger than, say, like the Glossier Boy Brow. It's a little bit thicker than, say, like the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. So for me, it's it's just perfect because I have very long, sparse, dark eyebrow hairs, and I need a brush that has a little bit more to it. So like the Charlotte Tilbury one is just a little bit too small. I end up kind of uh, brushing it up against my skin, which is not what I always want. So I have it in the color Espresso, which is a very dark brown. It's perfect for me. And what I love the most about this is that the gel isn't too wet. It is more of like a pomade. So it's like a, it's almost like a dry gel, kind of thicker pomade. And so it's not goopy in any way. I don't feel like it gets messy at all. It also has fibers in there. So because I kind of have sparse eyebrow hairs, it just fills everything right in. And I feel like with just a couple sweeps of this, I'm like good to go. I'm good to go. I may not have like an Instagram, YouTube video ready brow, but for every day, that's it. Few swipes and you're done. It's like filled in, it's full, they're in place. It like, it really just does everything in one sweep. So I love this product, the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. Next is a product that I used religiously before the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel, but I still love it very, very much. And this is the Glossier Boy Brow. Uh, I have it in black and brown. And uh, the black obviously is when I'm feeling a little bit more dramatic, the brown is a little bit more natural, and when I'm feeling really high maintenance, I'll use the brown um, at the center of my brows and then the black at the tail of my brows and kind of just brush it all in together. So here is the spoolie. It is teeny tiny. It is smaller than the Tom Ford one, but the bristles are at least a little, there's a little bit of bristle there. Again, not like the Charlotte Tilbury legendary brow where the bristles are so super narrow. There's a little bit of a natural bristle going on there. So I like that. The um, texture of this pomade is a little bit wetter than the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. So when I use this, I have to be a little bit careful. So I always like wipe it off like this. Probably like what you do before mascara make sure the tip is clean, and then I'll brush it through my brows. Um, I just really like this product. It's very easy. Um, the color is great, and it does set down a bit. So it does come out wet, but once you brush it into your brows, it does set down a bit, and it really just gives your brows that kind of like natural, fluffy effect, and there's no crunchiness to them. So while it dries down, it kind of helps your brows stay put. There's no crunchiness. So I really, really like this. Not a fan, not a fan at all of the crunchiness. So, um, so Glossier Boy Brow. And then my last three products are all pencil products. So this is another one that's been with me for a very long time. And if you've been with me for any amount of time, you've seen me use this quite a bit. And this is the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. Um, it has a spoolie at one end, and then it's one of those pencils with the angled longer tip there. And I think what I love most about this, so I have another color soft brunette, sorry before I go on, uh, color soft brunette, but what I love uh, the most about this product is that it is uh, very, very waxy. So it's really hard, and I'm pressing down pretty hard here, it's pretty hard to mess up. It's really goof proof. You see how faint those marks are? And I was kind of going at it. And I need that because sometimes when I'm going in, I, I'm sure like all of us, we kind of do it automatically. And sometimes I forget that I need to be like 
careful and have a gentle hand. And if I'm not using this pencil, sometimes I'll go in just a little bit too dark. So I love how waxy and how goof proof it is. Um, I also like the tip. You know, I'm always afraid with tips like this that eventually as you work down in them, they're just gonna get duller and duller. But this one seems to stay like pretty sharp. Like I can always use this, uh, the narrower side, the tip side of this angle and really kind of make some lines if I want. It's just really great. And this color soft brunette is really nice. It's a very cool, cool brown. So it doesn't look too crazy um, in my brows. So I really like this one. This one has lasted me forever too, probably because it is so waxy and so hard. Like you're really not using that much product for any effect at all. So I love this uh, hourglass uh, pencil. Next up is the brow product that I've had probably uh, second longest to the hourglass pencil and this is the Surratt brow pencil and um, I actually so during the VIB sale I actually just purchased uh, the raven color which is like more of the black because I have the dark brown I'm not sure actually what the color is called I'll leave it down below but it's either like espresso or just dark brown something like that um, but what I love about this pencil is that, um, well, first of all, like a lot of Surat products and a lot of Japanese made products, it is refillable. So this tip um, unscrews and you can just take it out and refill it whenever you need to. And um, it has a spoolie at one end. It's retractable, but there's like no cap. So it's great. There's like nothing to lose. And this tip is very, very fine. And again, it's something, it's a little bit more pigmented, a little bit less waxy than the hourglass. Um, so I have to be a little bit more careful. I'm trying to apply the same amount of pressure here so you guys can see. But it's a little bit, it's a little bit darker. So here is the Surratt and then here is the hourglass. So a little bit more pigment comes off. The color's also a little bit warmer, so it's something I feel a little bit more comfortable wearing in the summertime when my skin is a little bit more bronzy or when I'm wearing like more bronzy makeup. Uh, it seems to work better with that. Um, but I'm excited to try the Raven color because I do think that will be a better match for me. But I just love the formula of it and I love the packaging of this. I just think it's like, it's so cool looking like most Surat stuff. And then last but not least, this is definitely the newest to my brow collection. And I love this because I love the color and I'm getting used to the formula. It definitely took me a bit to get used to the formula. But this is the Sisley 3-in-1 Brow Architect pencil. So it has a spoolie. It has a teardrop shaped tip. So the hourglass one is like a little bit longer and straighter. This one actually has kind of like a rounded bottom, but this pencil is the softest and the darkest. So I have to be really careful. So there is the Sisley pencil. So you can see how much softer it is. And because it's darker, I have to be really careful. I like this color because, you know, I've always gravitated towards the browns. It's always what's been suggested to me when I go into store and I ask. But my hairs are very, very dark. And when I use a brown, I feel like you can see the brown. And so I wanted something darker. I wanted to see if I could use something um, that wasn't quite black. This is actually a very dark brown and use that and see, does it look too harsh or does it actually look a little bit more natural and that my brows are just a little bit fuller? And so I think I've come to the conclusion with this particular product that I like, I like a darker color, that the lighter color, while you would think sort of theoretically that it would seem a little bit more natural, I just think is more obvious, which is not very natural to me. So um, I'm definitely going darker in my brow products, which is why I ordered the Raven in the Surratt pencil. So anyway, God, that was, that was a crazy sidebar. But anyway, um, I do love this. It also has, um, if you screw the center apart, it also has this highlighting powder tip and this is great for defining your brows here so yeah so i love this pencil i love the color and if i'm very very careful with it i get a really great looking brow with this product but you definitely have to be careful that because that's that's dark so those are my top five favorite brow products. Please let me know what your favorite brow products are down below. I would love to hear. I've tried a whole bunch of them. I've, because I've talked about this fiber brow gel so many times, you guys have always suggested other products, most of which I have gone out and purchased. Um, but I keep coming back to this one. This one is such a good one. So anyway, let me know what your favorites are. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.